So this is Quercus rugosa or Mexican netleaf oak. Um, the great thing about it is when they call it Mexican netleaf oak, somebody said, why? They said, have you seen the bottom of the leaf? So they have this beautiful netting. There's also a lot of pubescence or fur on the bottoms of the leaves. What's great about this is planted in an area that has a lot of pollution or car traffic, they're great at trapping uh, pollutants and sequestering them, taking them out of the air and grabbing them on the leaves and then they drop to the ground. So Quercus rugosa, it's gonna grow to about 50 feet by 30 feet. Um, it's evergreen. I often say it's the the overall appearance is uh, a southern magnolia or magnolia grandiflora. When it gets older, it just doesn't have the big white flowers that southern magnolia has, but it has stunning cherry red new growth, which is a wonderful feature. Again, this tree is, um, its native range is from uh, Chiapas, Mexico, all the way up into uh, the Sky Islands of Arizona and New Mexico, so it has a huge range. Uh, the forest that I enjoyed seeing the most was in uh, Mexico City. So as you come up out of Mexico City onto the edges of the city and you get elevation, this tree grows in groves all around uh, the crater that uh, the city of Mexico City sits in. Um, stunning tree, very drought tolerant once established, but will also tolerate summer irrigation or monsoonal water. So warm and wet is not a problem for this tree.